come on, I just want to be as tall as you. Hi. Welcome back aboard the... Okay, I can't keep that. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, uh, dude... I'm on the wrong side of you. Hold on. There we go. Better. Let's go. And you're in your slot. Now... Open says me. Yeah, it worked. Totally not because I said that though. <laughs> or sorry, the other way around. It's totally because I said that. Yeah. I, Hello. And boom. And ha! Ah. They can't get me. Nah, 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 nah. Ow! I, I do Oh my goodness! You know what? Fine. I'll do it from over here. Ah. Yeah, that's what I call good pixelated aim. <laughs> All right. Wait. What the? No. 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 <laughs> uh, what are you? What? Wh what's going on here? Are we just? Is this some kind of dance we're doing? Well, that worked out well. Dead. Yeah. I, 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 I like one-shot killing things. Yeah! Alright, this is a fairy, right? No, it's not. Never mind. This is a fairy, right? Yep, okay. There we go. How did I catch that? <laughs> I was pixel the the curve was pixels off. How the hell did I catch that? Okay, I am going to need this. Can I please enter the door? Let me enter! I'll scratch the door down. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Gotta keep sugar in my body. Hello? Can somebody turn on the lights? It's really dark in here. No, not that light. That's not light enough. Hi, Go- Oh my god, you're not Goma. Hi, Armagoma. Where are you? There you are. Hey. Could you please hold still for a sec, please? Come on, man, I just, I, I just wanna, come on. Can't we just, thank you. Bop. That must have felt good. Whoa, whoa, buddy, buddy, you are big. All right, so I know what to expect here. Um, buddy, look, can you, can you just come to the center for a sec, please? Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. Hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, thanks. I'm going to be about as annoying as Navi is. Oh, goodness. All right, um, sorry. <laughs> Wrong person? Hello? Bop! You know, you, you gotta do better than that, buddy. You, 
you get- Oh my gosh, that's your butt. I really don't want to see your butt. <laughs> Come on, boy. Bring down the balls. Eggs. Same thing. Not even close. Oh, you did it somewhere else. Okay, ow. Ow. I said the balls, not the bugs. Do you move around for a while? Okay. Well, time to kick your butt for the final time. Bop. Dead. Kinda. Yes? Maybe? I hope. Spider be dead make me happy. Means I don't have to see spider butt no mo. If hold on. Wait. That's not cool. That pretty much makes it Y'all are confirming things that Bob has said. What the hell? Yeah, see, I told you. This is a butt. No, Bob. Yeah, there we go. Bob, no. <laughs> well, there's the next mirror, sorry. All right, Minna. What do you got to say about this one? Three of the mirror shards are ours. Just one left. Link. Yeah? You saw how nasty that monster was, right? Ah, uh, it's a spider. Not a lot of people like spiders, so yeah. The evil within the shards is more powerful than you can imagine. Okay, sassy Sue. You know... We could be assembling something truly terrible here. It could be something that we'll ultimately have to destroy. I feel like you're getting more milfish by the moment, voice-wise. <laughs> Are you okay? We have to hurry. Let's find our... Let's find the last shard, Link. Ah, uh, Minna? We have to reach the sky. That's where the last shard is supposed to be. Okay. Did you just spit out, uh, Minna? Did you just, did you just throw a bunch of arrows? That okay? Sure. Sure. That's one more hard container down, and let's go. Hi. I'll get you out of here. You're sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? Well, there is, but where you're gonna take me is where I need to do it, so. <laughs> Actually, it's two more things. Anybody who's played this game probably already knows what I'm talking about. Alright, first of all, boom. Second of all, let's go in here where I can find another heart piece. All right, so with that done and done... This one! Nah, 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 don't you even try it. Ow! I said don't try it. Dude, dude, I will... I will jibble your... Uh, I will juggle your ball, that your, your soul ball. What I'm even saying, I... There's no point in asking, okay? Wait, hold on. That guy hurt my face. See, there's a little bit of a scar right here. Um, are there any hearts at all in this? Oh, thanks! Yeah, that's that's really all I wanted. That's all I got it. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. This particular temple time actually does kind of make me think of the one from Skyward Sword as well. 
to a degree, but still. Very shiny out here. Hi, Uku. Well done, adventurer. Uku sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes! It's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple. But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. Ugh, what am I to do? I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I have completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic. There's a spell? It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do, indeed. Okay. Well, Uku is on her way. See you again. Wait, hold on. And you're gone. Hey, wait. What did you do to the Dominion Rod? She's gone. Uh, then, uh... You really are kind of starting to sound like a MILF. <laughs> I suppose a useless rod is really just more baggage. But... What are you going to do? Uh... How about... Uh, great. What? Minna? Uh, I... I... <laughs> hmm. Did she just say something about returning to the sky? The last piece of the mirror shard is the The last mirror shard is also said to be in the heavens. If we can restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. Sure. Cause at this point we're totally thinking of the same type of rod. I'm, per I'm still thinking of a little thing that used magic to make those statues living, but I've got the feeling you aren't, Midna. Alright, let's go over here. I do have reason to come over here, though. I know this is not where to progress. Well, kind of yes and no. Alright, turn me into a human, just don't- Why did you go underneath me, Minna? Why? Why? You- Hi! Um, you're here to join the party? Cause I'm pretty sure that's what Minna's trying to do. She's trying to create some kind of party here. I- I don't know if it's supposed to be just more than her and I. Please join, I really can't do this alone. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Renato. I'm pretty sure if I didn't come here, I would not have gotten that. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to me. Wait, no, 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 don't leave me. I can't. Uh oh. Um. Yes. Hi, butt looker. <laughs> Stop looking at my butt. I've got nothing to say to you, Milfy. Milfna? <laughs> That's what you're gonna be called now, Milfna. <laughs> Especially since you seem to really love looking at my ass. Hi, Renato. I got something for you. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I don't know. I got something for you! It's Hey, Milfna, you want to join Renato instead? He's a very brave man. This way, not this way. Ah, I have been waiting for you, Link. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shot? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. 
And, as I have learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens, or something like that. The Goron Elder believes to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. That's generally how that kind of thing works, Renato. Which means, if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Yeah, items usually do that. I can definitely confirm that. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? Yep. It would be best to speak with her first. Please, take this to Telma. Is this a letter of condolence? It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. Well, do you want to take Milfa instead? I mean, I mean Midna instead? I <laughs> totally not a milf. Nope, that's no. Nope. She's she's nothing sexual. She's fine. She's good. I'm sure you'd like her. She's a good companion. Yeah, better than Navi the way around. But still, you you, you want to hang out with her? Hey, milf. I mean Midna. Please. <laughs> okay, fine. We have a fighting chance, Link. I think I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone. Someone who told me all about the Rod of the Heavens. Now I can't remember the who, why, where, or what it all means. Do you really think I'll recover from my... Yes. You will, damn it! I will not end this episode until you recover. Alright, fine. Let's go. Hello! Hi. Yeah, I got something for you. I, 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 sorry, I got distracted. My brain's on a roll right now, and it feels like it's literal. It feels like my brain is just flattening something, British. Ooh, well, if it isn't for Renato the Shaman. All this writing in, he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, that is what I call rude. Well... There's no accounting for the foolishness of a man. Hey! I mean... I mean, you're not wrong, but hey! And at least... Uh, Milfna's down there just going, I know, right? Ugh. Like, Milfna, you shut up! <laughs> and at least... And at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course, I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm, what else do I know? My first one to bring Ilya to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something? But he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. Ah, I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this to him. This magic little paper will get that codger talking. I mean, you're not wrong. You got the invoice. Whoa, wait! I read the rest of that kind of in my head. This guy owes her a lot of money. She would be nice if she started remembering things soon, eh, Link? Yeah, kinda. Can I just replace the memory loss? Can I just give Milfna here the memory loss and give Milfna... I don't know. I don't know. I'd rather Ilya be the Milf, not Midna. I mean, Milfna. However, the joke doesn't work with Ilya. I can't I can't go around calling her Milfnia. <laughs> that's that's just weird. Milfia? Milfia? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Alright. Medical place over here. I love how depending on the part of Castletown you're in changes the way the song is being played. Or what instruments are playing the song. Because that, the eastern side sounds more like Ordon Villages. Hi. Hi. What's 
sir. Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admiral young lad who was willing to help the Zora boy for nary a single rupee. Unlike you, I don't care about money. Well, I do, but not to your degree. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You some money, don't you? No, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that girl earlier didn't mention anything about me, did she? No, she didn't. But there is this. Take the paper. Oh, look, I can't pay this off right now. I can see Tell has hired you as some sort of heavy to strong arm me. But she'll have to wait. I'll arm bar you, bitch! <laughs> look, lad. If I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. But see, I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. Put it outside to dry, but then... Well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. I know, right? You always have to be on guard, eh? Unfortunately. Uh, look, Mr. Heavy. At any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here. So I can't repay you. Now, to work. To work. Oh. Well, I want to scare this guy. I don't give a damn about this guy. I'll scare him to his freaking wit's end if I have to. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, what's that smell? Minna! Don't start farting on my head! Yes, yeah, I don't need that anymore. You learned the medicine scent! Can I actually dig my way out of here? Nope. Alright, well. Alright, well, let's get the hell out. Let's go! Come on, guys, I'm a cute little pupper. I pet me. <laughs> You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you, dear? Yes. Think it's a coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No. Yes, I'll admit it, I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast. Who took it for- Oh, great. Now I gotta wait till nighttime. I recognize that. Fine. I don't know why those beasts were after a statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing. They always move around as a pack. You won't get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. Alright. That statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's memory back. You must get it back. I'm assuming that's why you got it. Like you were originally intending to give it to your master. You know. I forget her name. Uh, Telma. What the hell was that, Milfna? Yeah, that. What was that? You, you, you just like. I'm like, get off of me, and you're just like, nope! L listen, get off me. Did you hear that? She's saying no! No! She's doing it in a very. Milfna, shut up! Ugh! Well, time to watch this thing go down. Ugh. Good gracious. I have to wait till it goes there. All the freaking way. I'm just going to stare at this guy. I'm going to stare at this guy. <laughs> I don't think I've stared long enough, but it's going dark, and now I got to... Milfna is still on my back. It was the middle of the day, and she's... She won't get off my back. Great. And quite literally at that. Hello. Ah, oh, come now. That was rude. That was very rude indeed. 
And there we go. You have the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Ilya. It might be a clue that will help Ilya get her memory back. Okay. Well, let's get the hell out of here and go over to Ilya then. Hey, uh, Ilya, I've, I've got a present for you. What is this? I I remember something. I was confined somewhere. Yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me this statue. Yes, yes, I remember that much. But that means the person is still in trouble. Oh, what is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. What, is Ilya split in two now? I thought I had seen that, s that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. But I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lineru province on the far side of bridge, the Bridge of Elden. But a rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there anymore. Ah! What? Oh, I did not mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems for Goron to Gorons. I know! I've seen you guys- I've seen a group of like five of you bang off an entire wall! And I mean like a large, like, basically what would be considered a natural version of, uh, dam. Like, look at the Hoover Dam, and instead of man-built, make it natural wall. Natural rock wall. A Goron can knock that whole thing down. Look at your map to see where. Oh, wait, you said, oh, never mind, whatever. I would try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elden. That leads to the net. I know where it is, dude. Wow. Ilya does not look happy. <laughs> uh, you okay? Please, don't worry about my memory. Just do something to help that w the one who set me free. Please, Link. Okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. Good jeez. Good jeez! All right, let's head over to the Bridge of Elden, which we finally can actually land on. I think it's over here. No, that's Upper Zora's River. It's right here. I knew it was one of those two, but I always get the two mixed up. I wonder, is there a way for me to get in there as Wolf Link? That'd be freaking hilarious if there was. Um, hello? Whoa, hey! How about no? How about no? I could fight the guys on the way, but I don't want to. I'm too lazy. I think after I've been to this area, I've pretty much been to every area in Hyrule aside from the sky. I don't want them at it! No! Monsters are just like, oh, it's him. Great! Nope! I do want the bow and arrow, though. I could use the Hawkeye here, but again, I don't wanna. Oh! There is a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it a forgotten place. The scent that has been burning my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. Evil? 
Who can name that? Who is that? That voice. What? What voice is that? There's one. That last evil. There's one powerful creature I have seen about. But under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are thir- no, at most, twenty of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors. Ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them. But you will have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you the secrets to besting them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Okay. Mm. Got it, little human? Sure. Okay. Bye. Welcome to the Wild West. Let's pull out our guns and get some suiting down. That was horrible. <laughs> All right, from this spot, how many of them can I hit without moving? That's what I. And that's glad this isn't timed. Oops. Um, I totally remembered that I had. That I had bomb arrows equipped and not regular arrows. Oh yeah, you go. Shut up, Milfna. Ow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Screw you. Where is the last one? Never mind. I thought there was one more. There's not. Hey, Grandma. Hi. Oh, dang. The howls of the beasts, they faded into silence. What? Hi. Wait, are you? The savior, it's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. My name is Impas. I'm the last resident of the poor, this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served. So this is like an ex- This is like an outdated version of Kakariko Village. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? Ah, I knew it. So then, you saved that nice girl? How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. Here I am. <laughs> that sweet girl, she worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from her. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives. Me? No matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me, Blatheron. I have a favor to ask. Will you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart. Even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. Aww. I know what this is, too. That's... I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask you to turn it to that girl. That's very heroic, actually. Especially knowing what that is. <laughs> anyway, there are some side things we could do here, but for right now, I'm actually going to uh, leave the area so we can actually go help our little friend and then we'll end the video after that I'm definitely gonna cut down that bit though no one needs to see me going back and forth looking for freaking 
Okay, warp. Plus, we'll be revisiting the village anyway. We really don't need to see that. Everything seems ominous. Well, uh, don't do that. I'm tempted to just, I'm tempted to just call her that for the rest of the playthrough. Okay, Milfna, time to come out. Time to come out and play. Well, actually, no, never mind. Here you go, Elia. Memories flood back. I I knew you once. Yep. Yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay. Oh, don't show me one of the dark cutscenes again, though. Long ago, when we were young, you and I, you were always there. You were always beside me. Oh. Link. Okay, this little scene is adorable. By the way, this is random, but do the graphics in this game make anybody think of Xenoblade Chronicles at all? <laughs> They're just like, okay, I think we're going to leave him be. Talo! Thank you. Whoever did that, thanks. That was probably Colin. This gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Link, take it. You got the horse call. Billy made this just for you. Just for Epona. Well, you know what I mean. So, this is probably going to make it very easy to call Epona and ride her wherever. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Which is interesting, because I'm pretty sure we don't even need to use Epona in this game. Don't need to. It'd be kind of interesting to see the communication between the two. Link, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Yeah. Well, actually, it was about the Messenger to the Heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations. So they await him. They can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. Probably me. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see? Say, Link. Do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be? Probably me. Or even what the rod is? Probably me. Wait. Never mind. <laughs> anyway. Now that Ilya has been helped, I actually am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I had a guy get Milfna off my back, because she just won't leave me alone at this point. Um, but aside from that, this train does have other stops to attend to. Um, if you guys want to check out more of that kind of stuff, make sure to click the links on the side of my head. The top one will lead to um, the rest of this, in case you've missed any of the stops, or a different RPG or Zelda game in general, I guess I should be saying. A different Zelda game across my head here, where we have stopped by before. However, this train needs to head off, but we'll hopefully catch you guys in another ride. Bye!